Hello everyone, welcome to this Notepad++ tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting features which comes with Notepad++ which is helpful to convert the XML data into the spreadsheet. So let's start. So there are basically five steps, but before understanding those steps, let's understand what are the use cases. The very first use case is suppose you have a SOAP web service which gives the response in the XML format and you would like to convert that XML response into the spreadsheet data. The reason we need to convert XML to spreadsheet because when we get the response it's not user readable or the business users will not understand XML data. So we need to present that XML data into the spreadsheet format. So that's the one of the use case. The other use case is suppose you would like to extract the data from your log files where the entries are placed all over your logs and log file is pretty much pretty big. In that case, you can narrow it down by this selective option, which is one of the feature we are going to see. So after understanding all these use cases, let's understand what are the steps. Basically, there are five steps. First is we have to select the data which we are going to translate into the spreadsheet format. Then make those as a mark. We'll see how to mark those data. Then we'll, we will use the copy and paste or cut and paste option. Then we have to format using regular expression. And the final step is just copy the data and put into the spreadsheet. In order to demonstrate this, what I have done, I have already created one XML response which is kind of the sample data for us. So whenever you copy the any content from your SOAP AI or any web service response tool, you'll get in a plain text format. So let's use one of the language format formatter. So for that you have to go to the language and select XML. So when you change the language, the formatting is also changed according to that language. One of the great feature of the changing the language is you can narrow down these tags and see the more data. So this has the several elements and each of this element has attributes such as first name, last name and other. Assume that this response is pretty big. Right now contains four to five elements or the four to five records. But in real time, you might be handling hundreds, two hundreds, or thousands of records in your response. So in that case, it becomes more tedious to go to the each and every element and get that attribute value and put into the spreadsheet. So avoiding that, we can use one of the interesting feature which comes with the Notepad++. So let's start. Let's assume that we want to have a date of birth field first name and the last name fields to be captured in the spreadsheet. For that, what we'll do, we'll select this field. I'm selecting first name. Use the control F option. When you select the control F, whatever the selected field get populated into the find what section. Then go to the mark and select this bookmark line and click on mark all. So as soon as we click the mark all, the bookmarks are assigned to this line. So whenever you see in the document, the first name, all those locations will be marked with the bookmark. Same step we will follow for the next attribute that is last name. Select and control F. I'm using Windows system, so control F is working. So if you are using any other operating system, you can Make sure you can use that option. Then go to the mark. Make sure the bookmark is checkbox is enabled and select mark all. Once we are done with this, we'll select the date of birth. Date of birth, the DOB is also present in another field and the field name is ROID object. So if you just select the date of birth, this ROID object will also get selected. So what I'll do, in order to overcome of that, I will use the columns also in my selection. Control F, mark, 
and the, all the records are marked. So this is our the second step. The third step is copy paste. So how can we copy paste? We cannot individually select and copy or cut paste. That will be more tedious work. So instead of that, what we'll do, we'll go to the search menu, go to the search, go to the bookmark, and here we have the several options. Either we can cut the bookmark or we can copy the bookmark line. So what I'll do, I'll just cut this bookmark line, go to the new page and paste it here. Select the content, one which we would like to replace and use Ctrl H, which is the shortcut in the Windows system. And then we can replace with empty string. I'll not use anything, just replace with empty and click on replace all. So all the initial content of the date of birth will be replaced. The next replacement statement we are going to use is with extended option. So before that, let's go ahead and select the content. Use Ctrl H, which is for the replace option in Windows system, as I mentioned earlier. Then use the extended, and we are going to replace with the backward slash T. The backward, backward slash T is used for achieving the tab between the two words. So we will use this content to replace with backward slash T with extended option and click replace all. Now we got the one tab. Similarly, we will use another option for replacing first name and the last name tag. Control H will keep the backward slash T and replace all. So we have to repeat all these steps until all the elements are separated by the tab. And for the last element, we will select the last element with an till next line. What I am doing for this selection. I go to the start of this element, I'm selecting the control button and going to the next line, control H, and again I'm going to use T slash T. So either I can use the slash T or I can use a slash N or I can just replace this content with the empty string. So whatever the feature you would like to use, you can use it. Now I got the date of birth. The first name and last name in tabular format. Copy this and paste your content in your spreadsheet file. So this way you can convert your XML document into the spreadsheet format. I hope this tutorial is helpful to understand how to convert the XML to spreadsheet. If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel. If you have any questions or queries or looking for any other specific feature of Notepad++, uh, please feel free to mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and have a nice time.